somebody open your mouth and say the blood of Jesus. Touch your name and say tonight is war time because of God to be delivered. Touch somebody and say the blood of Jesus. Come on, you under the blood. Come on, cover somebody under the blood. Stretch cross your head and cover somebody under the blood. Open your mouth and say the blood of Jesus. My God, my God, the devil is a liar. much more different from the synoptics. Once you take the time out to run down the street of Jesus' genealogy while they try to present the gospel of Christ to the Hebrews or the Israelites. But John did something that caught my attention significantly. Because it started out in chapter 1. So in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Then it quickly take me to the book of Genesis. The Bible said in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And it was without form and void. Amen. And God discovered the earth and the face of the deep. And he said let there be light and there was. So therefore he spoke a word and instantaneously something happened that speak about the creative nature of God or whatever God desired to do whatever I speak it just happened it's not possible for him to open his mouth and to speak and nothing change whatever God show up and speak in any situation or in any circumstances instantaneously there is a shift whatever the word of God whenever God opened his mouth to speak, the Bible said, his words will not return unto him for but he must accomplish. Amen. Whatever he said it to do, his word is so powerful. Amen. Praise God. But do not only possess power without intelligence. Our God is intelligent. Amen. If God said you're going to be successful or you're going to be delivered, it means that it's going to happen. Doesn't matter what the devil said, let the devil drop dead because the word of God really declare over your life. Yeah. Amen. Because God is a God. He's not a man to lie. Whatever I speak, amen, it will come to pass. I know I'm shorty, but I'm feeling good. Amen. My God that I choose to serve. Amen. He's the omnipotent one. He of all power. He's the omnipresent God. He's here, dear, and everywhere. He filled the universe. Amen. And the heaven is his 
destroyed and hurt is in footstool. It means that we have authority over all things. David really put it together by saying that he is beautiful for every situation. God is with you wherever you go. I know that never can have the victory over your life. God all by himself. Yes. And his word, Logos, it is powerful. Yes. Amen. And within God there is no flaw. There is no uncertainty in God. Whatever he said, it is well said. Whatever is done is well done. Amen. Because he is a perfect God. No, I cannot reveal God unto you. It takes God to reveal himself unto you that you can understand him. Amen. is a mystery and in other words for you to understand a mystery somebody got to reveal the mystery unto you amen so God is secretive he, he only shares his affairs with his friends praise God you got to have a relationship with God for you to understand God therefore then it's quite relevant that every living soul possess the spirit of humility as it relates to God because none of us can do nothing by ourselves. We need God in all things because He's a God. Amen. Of yesterday, today, and forevermore. <laughs> Amen. So we are with a young man should cleanse his way by taking heed to the word of God. Because that word is a lamp unto thy feet and a light unto thy path. It is powerful. Amen. It is power, raw power. The word of God. When he church that our oh God is mysterious and his ways are far but finding out because who really can follow God and who really can counsel him Paul to the Ephesian church he said I am he is the counselor of his own will in other words so whatever God will to do he do it by himself you don't have to call a board meeting and to call the head of department and say let's get together in this matter, he don't need any help. He's God all by himself. He said, "Okay, I'm just gonna let the earth quake and kill ten thousand people today, but tomorrow I'm gonna send rain in Philadelphia." And you try to question God. I mean, you can't question Him because you can't follow Him. Him and His ways are past finding out. And His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Amen. So we must understand, beloved. Once we approach God, we must believe that He's the supreme being. And it's only one way I can get to Him is through humility. Because if I humble myself under the mighty hands of God, then God in due time 
stuff will elevate me and reveal himself unto me. Anybody need elevation? Anybody need promotion? You've got to humble yourself, my brother and my sister. Your humility is the key to greatness. Without humility, you can't go up in God. But too bad in today's church, you can't find people humble enough that when the leader tell you, you should not do that. Says said, no, I've been to Harvard University. So I'm much more than you, the devil is a liar. Let us have a drop, that is his church tonight. You've got to humble yourself. Touch your neighbor as a neighbor. Amen. You have got to humble yourself. Amen. You need to know God. Humble yourself. Good God, there's a key to success. It's humility. Amen. The Bible said you've got to guard your heart with all diligence because out of it flow the issues of life. Watch this church, and it is quite important then for us to understand when we are dealing with God because now we understand that the God that we are dealing with is powerful and He don't need no help to be God. We must understand then that in order for in in order for us uh, to reach the place that uh, we should be, uh, we got to go before this God with the spirit of fear. Uh, amen. In other words, reverence. Uh, amen. Because we must understand that we should re respect uh, and reverence the authority and the character of God. Uh, because He is flawless, and within us there's flaw. Uh, and we can't live for ourselves. Uh, we can't walk in no light unless we are in the light of Christ. Christ. Amen. Praise God. So the apostle John took the time uh, to explain his deity. Yeah. But let him read really and understand that we are not only talking about a God, we are talking about the true and living God. Yeah. Amen. And to the time of I saying, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Yeah. Speak of absolute monotheism, oneness. Amen. Yeah. There's no three persons that John was talking about, he was talking about the one God. Are you with me tonight? Somebody said oneness. Yes, one God. One, God. one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one way to go to Jesus. Because no man can come in to the Father behind me. I am a master of one way, Jesus. Amen. To give knowledge as it relates to his personal experience with God. But he desire, praise God, to present Christ. Amen. As the only wise God. Amen. Because beside him there is none other. He's a mystery. So therefore then, he stepped into the world and he could begin to run rough or to reveal God to his reader. Can I present God to you tonight? Amen. I said, I recognize that you are too superstitious because I see the superscription on your wall by saying to the unknown God, but him I declare unto you tonight. Know my God that I choose to serve. Amen. He looked behind my thought and he saw my needs and he supplied them daily and he promised me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthen me. Amen. So therefore, then God grant unto us authority and power to subdue principalities and powers and to our victory over every situation. Amen. Unless you come into this light, then that, that, that power is not exposed to you. And you are vulnerable to the devices of the enemy. In other words, you are naked and there is no protection on your life. But when you are in the light, the Bible the angel of the Lord and kept it from above as a fear did. Oh God Almighty, I fear. The Holy Ghost in this room tonight. I feel some chains are broken. I feel buckles destroyed. I see deliverance coming. I see the devil fucking up. I feel the Holy 
And my sister, uh, this God that I'm preaching about tonight, uh, amen, praise God, he's powerful, but uh, amen, praise God, but if we should use, uh, amen, current or electricity as uh, an example, if you take something and plug within those sockets in the wall, uh, and the wires are strips, then you will be exposed to the danger of the current, that the current will kill you because it is not intelligent, uh, it has no form of intelligence. Amen. But the power that my God possess, Amen. As the all powerful God is much more powerful than 5,000 volts of current running through the wires you see on the poles. He's more powerful than anything that any atomic weapon, any weapon of mass destruction is more powerful than all things, but he is intelligent. God will show up in this room tonight and just touch you and heal your body of cancer and you sitting next to me still not feel the power that I'm feeling the glass of intelligence ah, I feel the Holy Ghost He's so powerful the Bible said He came through 40 and 2 generations He came to His own and they received Him not but as many as stone are receiving God gave His power let the church have power Amen. Because the Bible told us that we cannot lean unto our own understanding. But in all our ways we should acknowledge him and he will direct our path. So there's a prescription, there's a pathway, there's a method for us to follow. And oftentimes the reason why, amen, we, we, we stuck into one position. Then in the position that we are stuck in, we become stagnation. Amen. We become stagnant. Amen. Praise God. Because we are stuck. Because we did not acknowledge and therefore we cannot follow. Paul sweetly put it together said, not as though I already attained, already perfect, but I follow after all that I may know the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. In fact, any means I may attain unto the resurrection of the dead. But nevertheless, I forget those things which are behind and I press towards the mark of the high calling which is to be found in Christ. 
in Jesus. You got to acknowledge him. You got to humble yourself. Ain't no deliverance. Ain't no breakthrough until you acknowledge God. Some of you, you are too hype. So therefore, you cannot win Christ because you know too much. Oh God, can I preach in Philadelphia tonight? Maybe because some chains have got to be destroyed. And this church must experience yes. a mighty revival. But we have got to bind some spirit up in this summer that goes tonight. And the church can be loose and can be delivered. It's still happening right now. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen. So therefore, we must understand, saints. Amen. That salvation, praise God, or this light, it's not for the entire world, but it was promised to whosoever will. Amen. It's not like Jesus came and bled and died, and then instantaneously everybody gets saved. No, there's a process. Whosoever will, praise God. Whosoever will, who want the desire. Because with the heart, oh God, man believe, but with the mouth, confession is made. Watch this, and if I can put it together in a dovetail form, then we understand in Genesis chapter 1, he said, Let there be light, and there was. Amen. John said, In the beginning, the word was with God, and the word was God. It is a spoken word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Cause things to happen, just speaking, and it come into being. But we must understand for us to be able to do that, we got to be circumcised by the heart. How can I be circumcised by the heart, preacher? I must acknowledge God. Amen. And have a repetitive heart. I turn from my wicked ways and repent of a change of mind. Concerning my present lifestyle and liberty. And when I do that, I know believe within my heart. So it propels my mouth to speak. I make confession with my mouth. Then it positions me, praise God, to follow in the life. And once I get into this life, the Bible told me that his disciples they went to Jerusalem. And he told them, I want you to tarry until you be endured with power. Come on, every musician, I want to take this thing off. Amen. Yeah. They call them, I want you to tarry until they be endured with power. Let the church have power. Yeah. With power from an answer. And the Bible says, suddenly there came a sound of a mighty rushing wind. And it came within the house. And it struck upon them. And they spoke with a new tongue. Because the power came. And the power did not only show up in the room, but it shut and off them that dwell in the room. Anybody need the power tonight? So you are in the right place so at the right time. You got for the power is here. I can want to see that somebody in this church tonight. No, 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 then watch this. So then, after you be endured with the power, then the God gave you the ability to speak those things. Amen. Praise God that are not as so they were. Because every word of faith that align with the word of God that proceeds out of your mouth, there should be a manifestation of the thing that you speak not long from now. Amen. Don't you understand that in serving God, it takes faith. The scripture said, they that come to God must believe that he is God. And he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. Oh God, I come against every spirit of doubt, every spirit of fear, every spirit of unbelief. And I release your power in the summer of the life. I speak deliverance in every dead circumstances. There is power. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Watch this. 
We are talking about the only wise God. Yes. Only. Yes. Only. 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 It's not like they don't have other gods. Yes. But he is the only wise God. And he is our Savior. Yes. Jesus. That's right. If a devil show up in my house, I want to touch my kid or my wife. It's war. If a devil show up in my house, I want to take out shot of my house. It's war. By any means necessary. God said, You are the apple of my eye. And any man touch it, deep touch it. And you know what the mess with God. God. But we cannot approach it uh, because we are too fearful. Uh, and when there should be deliverance in the house of God, uh, you come to church and the atmosphere is just fine because uh, we are low praise God, all manner of uh, situation to override us. Uh, and there's no true worship uh, for the Lord of our spirit. Uh, but if we should go to the word of God, we must understand that God will be with us. Jesus manifests himself in flesh and he dwell among men. He walked to praise God the year of the Galileans. No man was able to pass by because there are many in the tomb packed with devils. Good God. When they saw Jesus coming, they cried with a loud voice, Jesus! The son of the most God. Why you come to torment me before my time? Okay. You got to be able to discharge some devil by your very presence. Can I preach in the summer of tonight? When you show some devil have got to flee. When you go to work, some devil have got to back up. When you go in your car, some devil have got to flee. Because who can stand before me when I go in the name of Jesus Christ? I hear the Bible say, no weapon not for me. Shall be able to prosper. Oh, yeah. By the presence of Christ. They cried out. Watch this. With a loud voice. So why? You come to torment us before our time. The scripture said they begin to worship God. Devils begin to worship this only wise God. Why they do that? Because they acknowledge his deity yes, and understand that he of the Lord say and is the only authority. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. They knew him, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They knew him, yes, sir. The devils knew him. Yes. And if the devil know him tonight, yes. how come the church don't know God? Holy Ghost. If you are known God, you'll be speaking to us all over this room tonight. How come begin to worship him. They begin to worship him. Jesus asked him question, what is your name? He said we are legions because we are many. Over six thousand of us. With God Almighty. Over six thousand. We are legions because we are many. Good God, but the words are one. One shall chase a thousand. Two shall put a thousand. Asking you for pardon. 
that you don't send us out of this course. Suffer us not to leave this region. Let me pray this to you because you don't understand what you're dealing with. Suffer us not to leave this region. Why? Because they take authority over the territory. Those devils are some stubborn devil. Because they take authority over the territory. And as long as they stand in the position, praise God, it means that there is no breakthrough, there is no deliverance. Oh God, but when Jesus comes, the temple power has got to be broken. Yes, he showed up. Allow us to leave this territory. And the devil show up in your house. They want to take authority. And as long as they stand as a dominant force in your house, quit speaking in tongues because you don't have any power. That's right. Quit it. I recognize that church folks today only have a testimony. <laughs> by the loudness of their voice when they come to church. But as soon as they leave your pastor, they get depressed all over again. And there's no deliverance. But I send an angel at your house tonight to bind that strong man and to deliver you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy Ghost. is hard. And teaching is hard. Yes, sir. Revival is hard. And everything I do here is hard. But I have come tonight to speak some things oh. in this house yes, and to bind up some yes, devil and to release the scripture because there must be a fire mighty breakthrough. Church must be advanced for the age. Yes, sir. The church must be advanced for the age that we are living in. And it takes great minds and thinkers to position it and to push it forward. Because God said, greater works than these shall he do. But we recognize in church we have a lot of, a, a, a lot of hunters. Yes. Yes. People know how to act in church. People know how to dance in church. And I cry the heart of the Holy Ghost. People know how to roar those stuff. But we need some real power. What God in the house of God. But when somebody opened their mouth and said, Jesus, you feel the vibration of the Holy Spirit. It is stand on my the power of God. It is raw, there's so no limit. Can I release some things in this house? In the beginning, the word was with God, and the word was God. And the same was with God from the beginning. And all things were created by Him. And without Him, nothing was created. That was created. He is God all by Himself. Spoken word, the spoken word, the word that proceeds out of His mouth. The Logos. Amen. And God a shift in your spirit when you receive it. Praise God. And it disturbs powers of darkness. For the Bible said the light shines into darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Thank you, Jesus. So we cannot be in fellowship if I'm in light and you're in darkness. Two can't walk together. Unless they agree. Who can walk together? Let's stay a group. We can't have fellowship unless we agree. Peter and John was coming up. Oh God. The house, to the house, to the house, to the house, to When he reached there, saw a man sat in, sat at the gate called Beautiful. Sat there for a very long time. 
30 and 80 years. He looked at the desire to get something. Come on now. But Peter said, Look on us. Look on us. Look on us. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, I'm about to close. Let's find somebody. Find yourself a neighbor. Let me just release some power. Find somebody and just hold somebody by the hand, by the right, and everybody in this house. I'm about to turn over this mic, praise God. But I'm about to release some stuff in this room tonight. Come on, 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 come
to speak. Begin to talk over your family. Begin to speak blessing. Begin to speak deliverance. Open them up and declare it. Open them up and declare it. Open them up and release it. Open them up. Yes, that's it. Over this congregation, and I release your favor.